Welcome to the homework for Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 20. Um, I'm going to try and take my time on this one. Uh, we're going to be doing multiplication and division word problems. And uh, you really have to take your time with the tape diagram pictures to figure out which one you're going to do, whether you're going to multiply or divide to solve the questions. And some of them, sometimes we might multiply, we might divide in the same set of questions. So it really is important to not skip the tape diagrams and to, and to practice drawing them so you, you can use them to solve your own problems. We have uh, Jerry buying a pack of pencils that cost three dollars and David buys four sets of markers. Each set of markers also costs three dollars. So here we have, this is already labeled for us, but in the other ones that we get, we're gonna have to make our own labels. So here we have pencils. We don't even have a question yet. We don't even have a question yet. We just have a tape diagram. So the only thing you're gonna solve anything yet, we just gotta finish labeling this. These are markers and these are pencils. We know that markers, each set of markers costs three dollars. So each marker is three dollars. Before you even decide whether you're dividing or multiplying, you should be, you should have this picture. All, all the labels filled out. Three dollars, three dollars, three dollars. And this pack of pencils here is three dollars. Uh, then I guess we're assuming that we don't know how many more packs of pencils. This whole thing of markers, three, 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 that's going to be uh, four sets uh, we don't know how much money it is yet they haven't told us that but we, it's, it'll be pretty easy to figure out we don't know how much money total money that is and we do, uh, is that everything? Okay, yep, yeah, that's the pencils, $3 each. Uh, the markers, four sets of markers, right? Uh, we got that, um, each set of markers, okay. So, so far he's only bought one pack of pencils. What is the total cost? We just, now we have the questions. What's the total cost of the markers? So that's this right here that we're trying to figure out. It's one, two, three, it's four threes, right? So it's four times three equals 12. The markers cost $12. How much more does David spend on four sets of markers than Jerry spends on a pack of pencils? So this is the question mark here. This is the how much more. Now you, you could use this. <clears throat> you could solve this a lot of different ways. But you could just look at this section of the tape diagram and think, well, that's, you could use multiplication to solve this. That's one of the easier ways to do it, I think. And you're looking at, it's three threes more, right? Three times three is nine. The markers now remember the markers don't cost nine dollars. They cost nine dollars more. That's what the question asks is how much more? So make sure that your answer matches the question. Number two. Thirty 
<clears throat> 30 students are eating lunch at five tables. So here we have our tape diagram. We've got one, two, three, four, five sections. So each one of these boxes here is a table. Uh, each table has the same number of students. We don't know how many students are in each table yet, but we can say that this is... Uh, we don't know how much one table is, and we don't know... So we don't know what one is, we don't know what four is, but we do know that there are 30 total children and five, five tables. Could, you could put that up here. You don't really have to. But I like to just have the labels in there so it can, reminds me what everything is. How many students are sitting at each table? That's going to be 30 children. And here's a good one for division. Right? 30 children divided into five tables. You um, Divided by five. You, so you could look at it that way. Or it might be easier for you to think of it as multiplication. And think of it as a missing factor. Five times something equals 30. Either way, you're going to get the same number for an answer. But you know, you'll find out that it's 6. So we know that this is going to be 6 children. And you can just write a 6 in all of these now. And you can say six children are at each table. All right, how many students are sitting at four tables? That's this box here. Uh, so four tables is four sixes. So we can just we can see that and we look at the picture now. It's really easy. We don't have to do anything much more complicated. The picture really helps us just to see that it's four sixes. So it's four times six equals twenty-four. We've been practicing a lot of fours, so hopefully you remember uh, four times six. And we see so we can say that uh, twenty-four. Students are sitting at four tables. And then number three. Well, this is going to be one of the longer ones because word problems just they just take a little more time than most other ones. Uh, the teacher has 12, now we have to draw our own tape diagram. The teacher has 12 green stickers and 15 purple stickers. Three students are given an equal number of each color sticker. How many green and purple stickers does each student get? Oof. Alright. Well, we have to figure out what, what, what we know and what we don't know. And we we'll draw a picture. Tape diagrams are easy pictures to draw. Uh, you could draw a math picture and you'd be drawing an array which would have an awful lot of stickers in it. But I could draw a tape diagram. We know that there are three students, right? And each student could be a group of stickers, right? Because they each get the same number of stickers. So we could have three students here. And then now we just label what we know. Um, so we have our tape diagram. And we, we've got our three sections. And we're just going to say here we have what do we have? We know that there are three students. And it's just problem solving process. Figure out, start with you know, what do you know, what do you have to find out, and then from there, usually it's a lot easier if you can look at a picture of it. We have three students, and then we have 12 green. and 15 purple total stickers. But what we don't know is this. We don't know how many stickers each student gets. 
So we, they get the same number of green stickers and the same number of purple stickers. So we could, we could eat, there's two ways we could do this. We either figure out 12 divided by 3 and add 15 divided by 3, or we could just add the two together and then divide by 3. Or we could just deal the cards and then see how many each student gets. You could do it just like that. So you for the, the green ones, you'd just be going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's the 12 green stickers. And now the 15 purple stickers. I don't have purple, but I can use blue. Maybe I can use purple. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now we can see what everybody has. You can just count now if you do it that way. You use the picture and count and just count. You can do it that way. Uh, and that would be, you can see everybody has nine. So each student gets nine stickers. And that's the way that you can just draw pictures and count. To solve word problems. I mean, and sometimes it really it saves you work sometimes to draw a picture like that. And three friends go apple picking. They pick 13 apples on Saturday, 14 apples on Sunday. They share the apples equally. How many apples does each person get? So here's, I'm going to do this a, a little bit different way, but I'm still going to draw the tape diagram because there's still, we get Saturday apples, we got Sunday apples, we got, we still have three friends though. So here we have, uh, we want to know how much each person gets. So in that way, it's a little bit similar to the one before. We have three friends. We know we have, what do we know? We know we have three. You've got to label your tape diagrams. Three friends. And so you've got to have the tape diagram, and you've got to have the label. So you have to have this on your homework. Three friends, and uh, we know that there are, 13 Saturday and 14 Sunday apples. Uh, how much does each person get? That, that's what we don't know. We don't know. So we could do this. Because we know they get, they share all the apples equally. We can just add the 13 and the 14 together. 3 and 4 is 7, and that's 27 total apples. And we take the 27, divide it among the three friends, and we should get 9 each. person gets nine apples. Apples. There. And our last one. The store has 28 notebooks in packs of four. Three of them are sold. How many packs are left? Okay, so same thing. What do we know? What do we don't know? We know that there are 28 notebooks and we know that they come in packs of four in each four notebooks And, but we don't know how many packs. <clears throat> so we're going to figure out how many packs. We could say 28 divided by 4. Working with 4s again. 
and that's seven. So we know we're going to need seven packs from that. One, two, three, four, five, six should make seven boxes. That should be seven fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fours. Uh, three of the packs of notebooks are sold. So I'm going to just shade those. These three are sold. How many are left? The rest of them are left. The ones that aren't sold are the ones that are left. And that's the ones that are left. There's one, two, three, four, four. So that's four times 4, which equals, that's not more 4, right? 16. 16 notebooks are left. Which is this. That would be this question right here. How far is it from this section to that section? All those 4's added together. There are 16 notebooks left. 